Hi guys and welcome to the Crafty Little Gem. Thank you for joining me today. And I don't know whether you can remember, quite a while ago I made um, an open up box, basically this, but bigger, a lot bigger. Um, and I just thought it, that would actually be a nice table favour, but scaled down. So this is the size I've come up with. It is three and three eighths by one and three quarters so three and three eighths by one and three quarters um again this is this was my prototype i did do obviously a prototype for the bigger one and um again i've actually added bits on here because as you can see when that gets folded down and that gets folded down even though it will be full of stuff that can actually like bend down and i really didn't like it so again I've added these. You don't have to. Um, if you don't want to, then just take off um, one and a half from the actual length and just score it at um, one and three quarters, both sides instead. So stay with me. This is what we're going to be making. That was my little prototype thing. I'll pop that there. I will bring in my board and make sure you can see, which you can. And again, this is just cutting up some six by six um, little square pads that I had. So I'm still using up. So you will need a piece of eight and a quarter to the full um, width of a normal A4 sheet paper and then cut to eight and a half. And again, if you didn't want the flat bits on the side, then just to take off one and a half and then say that that's there you just score it at one and three quarters turn it around and one and three quarters and that gets rid of those flaps but i want them so i am starting at three quarters of an inch two and a half turn it around three quarters of an inch two and a half or you can carry on and do five and three quarters and seven and a half. It's entirely up to you. Turn it to the eight and a half side. One and three quarters. Three and a half. Five and a quarter. And seven. And then what you'll find is you've just got a smallest piece here. Which is obviously this flap that's going to go over the top. Then you just need to make some marks. If you have got these sides, then you can bring them down. If not, just make a little indent. So you're coming in at two and three quarters and just bringing it down to that first score line. Six and bringing it down to that first score line. You can then turn it over and again, two and three quarters and six. They are just cutting lines. So you don't need to worry about those too much. Now, off cut from your A4 sheet, you'll just need to cut two strips that are one and just under three, one and um, th one and one and well, three quarters of an inch. Sorry, on the longer side, which will be three and a quarter, score at three quarters and at two. You'll be folding one towards you and one back. You need two pieces like that. So again, one to foot towards you and one back. We can get rid of that now. I'll pop those on there to give you them in a moment. Like so. I'm just going to come in and fold and burnish these. And I must admit, I did like the box that I did with this, the bigger box. So if you go into somebody's house, it's great to put chocolates in to, so for everyone to share and stuff. But I actually thought that these would be nice as little table favours if you didn't want crackers or to give to people at night if you are having a few people over. You don't have to put chocolates in them. You can put anything you like. 
<laughs> so what we're actually going to do is this is how we're going to cut up and I'll start with this corner here. So what I'm actually going to do is that score line coming just up to that first score line there. You're cutting down that and then you're going straight across from there to that corner. I'm hoping you can see that. And then what you're actually going to do is just cut straight down there. So that is what you have. You can then come down this score line here. And then all you're going to do is just cut that bit off there. And I'll go from this side. Cut that bit off there because that is our flap. I'm not going to cut that bit off that yet, but I'm going to cut down that one because that is my guide. I'm going to cut it to that corner. And then I'm going to cut straight down there. And I can go in and cut that bit off. So that is what you will have. I'm just going to come in and neaten. Basically, all I'm doing is taking that score line away. And it's literally just a smidge. Like so. And then all we're going to do is mirror it on this side so again just that partial score line from there to that corner there and then all i'm going to do is take that bit off and the reason i'm cutting down that bit there first instead of cutting across is because knowing me when i cut that bit i'd actually cut in to my side flap so again, coming down that one, cutting that partial line, cutting across and cutting that away. You're left with that bit so you can cut that bit off now. Everything will be fine and then you can easily go back in and just cut these score lines away that you don't want interfering with your project so they're they're gone and that is what you should actually be left with so what we're going to do now is we're going to decorate up but we are leaving out this one and this one because on this one i am putting magnets the same as this you don't have to, you can put a Velcro dot in the middle. That's absolutely fine. You could even put some holes in both sides and have a big ribbon come in and having a nice big bow on the top, which would look lovely. But I'm not, this is how I'm gonna do it. So I have got two pieces that are one and five eighths squared. And I need to make sure that they are facing the right way because they need to be facing into the bottom. That is my first piece. This is the second. We're then going to do these flat bits and they actually want to be coming the other way, coming in like that. So these bits measure one and five eighths and that is by five eighths of an inch. And again, they're actually facing inwards. So they don't want to be going the same way as the other one. You could also round the corners on these if you wish. And then coming in with some main pieces and that is three and one eighth by one and five eighths. And 
and again that wants to be facing into the middle I have got four pieces that side size sorry and again you don't actually have to put one in the middle if you don't want to it will save you on your papers and actually I don't think I am I think I'm going to put my other bit on the inside to cover up the magnets so what we are going to do is with these on one of these sections doesn't matter which one you're going to put some glue and we're going to actually have that try and get it in between them score lines but right up to that score line there so if you can bend that to know that it's actually going to come in you're fine so you've then got that again it's easier to do this bit together. Come in, line it up in between them score lines. Then once you've got it in between them, push that up and then you can push that right into that score line, which is what you want. What we're then gonna do I'm actually going to see if I've got a corner around and I'm not really bothered I have. I'm going to take my large corner rounder and I'm just going to corner around the top like so and again I've got two pieces left and I'm just checking which way I need to round the corners because I will get that wrong. So let's have this opened out again so you can see. So if I bring it up like that, you'll have these two going across here. What you're going to do is you're going to bring one of those in and the other side and make sure it goes on top. Then fold that in and if you hold just the sides there you then can get some glue on that bit that you've actually folded over. And then all you're going to do, don't fold anything else over, all you're going to do is push that and push that up and make sure then, I fold those back, make sure then that that folds in and everything is straight and square like so then you can actually just bring that out and that is your mechanism there again this side you want one on the inside one on the outside you've got this folded flap here doesn't matter which side you bring in first and which one you bring in last but as long as they're like that that's your inside, so you're going to fold that over, grab the outside, put a bit of that on it. You're not folding this over, you're bringing that up, okay? So you're bringing that up, and then you can come in and push down on that side there as well. And again, that's your little open mechanism like so they'll fold in then that one and then that one so you want it that way the box because the shorter bit should always be the top so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this piece I'm going to have it there I have got some magnets my little glue dots so I'm just going to put one there and one there oh grab my bandits and put them over 
glue this on top. Make sure I get it all lined up and how I want it. Then there's one magnet. Where is the other one gone? I shall get another one out. Nope, there is definitely one on there of each. Oh, it's there. <laughs> oh, dear me. Pop that in there before any of the kids get it. So I've just popped those on there. And then coming in with some mini glue dots. On them. You cannot press that then and get that all straight and bring that down. And then when you lift it up, they are left there. Again, like I said, you don't have to do this. You can use Velcro. Velcro dots, you could punch some holes and have a nice ribbon. You'd have that there like that. Please excuse my nails, I haven't been to have them redone yet. So when that one bit goes down, that goes, and it stays nice and closed like that. So for the other one, I haven't decorated it. I am going to find a bow or something to decorate. But these sides, I didn't have enough of the pattern paper left. Um, this one, I did cut into another 6x6 six six paper. So luckily enough, I had two pieces of this, but only one of this. So if you didn't want to put those on, you don't have to. If you wanted to chomp into another bit of 6x6, six that's entirely up to you. And then I have just gone in my cupboard because I am having a using up session. And I have found these. So I'm just going to pop one there. I'm going to pop a bit of glue on that one and pop that one there. one in the middle there and also just one there then because my paper is Parisy, well it is Paris paper I've just got the word love in the middle just something a bit different rather than Christmas but again you can I have got little Merry Christmases and things like that in there. Decorate it up however you like. And that is that box done like so. You can also put some um, pattern paper in the middle. I have got one bit left here that I might put just in the bottom there to cover that up not letting things dry you see I am going to pop that in the bottom there that's just the same dimensions of the outside like so close it up pop that on i will put a bit more glue on this you should all shout at me and say leave it alone you've done it that 
was going on like that, wasn't it? Right there. So that is my cute little Christmas favour box. But again, you don't have to have it for Christmas. You can have it for anything. That is the one that I'm just going to put a big red bow on, I think. So I hope you like that one, guys. And I shall see you again for the next one. Bye.